and various other bodies. We assembled a partnership in County Mayo involving the Arts Council and um, Mayo County Council and the NRB. We Western should explain community. here, of course, that uh, you're dealing with people with learning difficulties, isn't that right? Yeah, our main target audience is people with learning difficulties because they haven't had an opportunity to get involved with the arts before and we've discovered some fantastic talent mm. amongst people with learning difficulties um, in County Mayo. And uh, last year we, we developed a show called The Clare Island Mystery, which was a multi-sensory wonderland of, of giant sets where people and came. And they were involved in, 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 at all, in all facets of this, were Yeah, we had two people with, with learning difficulty training with us for the whole year who took part in the show. Right. Um, and uh, they acted and became full members of the team. What do you think they get out of it? I mean, from your point of view, I know that, that, that you're involved in it from your own artistic director element and, and, and indeed on a hands-on approach. Right. But what do you think they get out of it? What do you think it means to them in terms of their lives? Um, it's very, it, drama, we found that drama, things like drama, mime, puppetry are things that can cross barriers. Mm. Um, number one, it brings people, gives people with disabilities an opportunity to come out into the community and take part just like in equal, on equal terms. Right. Um, number two, the um, aspects that we use like mime, um, oftentimes people can have a problem with complex language. So using things like mime, we can cross barriers with that. Mm. And um, great performance skills, sometimes uh, people with um, great enthusiasm to take part. Right. I want to give you a quick look at this. I want to give you a quick look. This is a piece of uh, Nationwide filmed. Uh, it's only a few seconds of it, just to give you an example of the sort of work that this was filmed at uh, St. Mary's Hall. There is actually a, a voiceover on this, so we we'll leave it alone. Have a look at this. It's a show where they actually become participants of the, the theatre. They become actors themselves and they're sucked into the story and they have to become involved in the story, make decisions to push the story on. Also get involved physically in solving, you know, riddles and, uh, of course, the whole uh, area is to stimulate the senses. E Isn't that lovely? Now, that's, that's your guys. Uh, mm -hmm. You're getting £20,000. What difference does that make? Um, the financial assistance from the Arts Council helps us to sustain long-term development in this area and um, gives us an opportunity to collaborate with artists, um, sometimes like, la like artists will be visiting us from other countries, mm. and gives us an opportunity to develop you know, solid partnerships with agencies and organisations in this area, which means that for me oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really good development. Well, congratulations to you because it's a good news story and it's nice to bring a good news story out as well. Absolutely.